Hello guys and welcome to a new video. Today we are going to be doing uh, my kind of overview on all my vintage sweatshirts. Now I have done this video before but it was a while ago and it was also my first video so it was a bit naff. Um, so I thought I'd redo it and also there have been a lot of changes since then and um, it's kind of a completely different video now. So I'll probably just delete the other one because it's a bit rubbish, but hopefully this one's a bit better. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to be going through all my new additions and some of the previous ones that are also in there. And uh, having a chat about um, each one. Sorry about this weird flickering of the light. I've just noticed that's something to do with the light. Uh, um, that isn't with the rest of the video. Um, so yeah, without any further ado, let's get straight into it. All right, guys. So to start off, we have this lovely, simple Nike spell out sweatshirt in brown. Now, I'm really liking brown colors at the moment this is really nice got the simple nike spell out uh with the white piping and then a nike swoosh and this is an xxl but it is definitely not that size it's more fits more like a large um now things with this one is these retail for around about 100 pounds but i got this for 40 pounds because if you turn to the back there's just a very few orange paint marks that you dot there and then there but if you zoom out unless you can hardly see them and because of that i managed to get this pretty much 50 percent off so yeah i really like the sweatshirt really lovely color um and especially for like autumn time goes really well um with the vibe of that and yeah brown's just a really i'm really liking the color brown at the moment so that is one of my favorite sweatshirts currently and on to the next one all right, now on to my actual favorite current sweatshirt that I have is this Adidas Equipment Purple, which is very rare, uh, sweatshirt. Now, I've never, I've seen, never seen another purple one on sale. I don't know if they're genuinely really rare colorway or there's not many, not many people selling them, but I love purple. It's going to be one of my favorite colors. And when I saw this, I saved up for months for it and I finally purchased it about a month ago. I was very happy. It is a true original one. As you can see there, I've got the Adidas equipment. It's got the true original logo. And it's also got the uh, arm logo there. And there is the front. So yeah, really happy with this one. Um, like I said, it's my current favorite one. I've been wanting Adidas equipment sweatshirt for ages. Uh, um, so I finally saved up, I bought this one. And I love the color. I wear this all the time. I'm trying to wear as much as possible. It also has the little Adidas logo around the collar there. So yeah, really cool piece this one. Definitely my favourite and one that um, I should be keeping for a very, very long time. All right, on to the next one. Now, this isn't technically mine. This is on the shop. Uh, this is too small for me. I bought it specifically for the shop, but I thought I'd include it in this video because if this was my size, I would definitely keep it. Uh, this is um, a really nice original... Adidas equipment quarter zip. Um, any floor is this zip does like it has been like chewed by a dog or something. But apart from that, it is in great condition. Again, got the uh, sorry about that, the OG logo there, and that on the side, and then the Adidas equipment thing on the front. So if you are interested in this one, this one is actually for sale, but I just thought I'd include this one because again, if this was my size, I would definitely keep it. Really lovely green color. Um, see more of these around in terms of equipment. The quarter zips in the greens are quite popular, but um, I put this one up for relatively cheap because obviously the zip. So if you're looking for a cheaper Adidas equipment quarter zip, then this might be the one for you. This is a size small, so yeah, fortunately it's too small for me, but yeah. That's another Adidas equipment um, sweatshirt. On to the next one. Alrighty, the next one is another vintage Adidas. This one is really cool just because of the colors. Let's see, it does have a vintage Adidas tag, which is always good. And it's got the Adidas in block letters on the front, but it's the sleeves with the purple, the yellow and the green against the red that really stand out. A lot of people seem to like this sweatshirt whenever I wear it. And I personally really like it too. Uh, it is slightly on the small side for me, but I kind of style it that way um, because I don't want to get rid of it and I really like it. Um, and yeah, I love the colors on this. And also it has something on the back as well, which I'll turn it around and show you now. 
So on the back, it has the Adidas logo there. And again, you can see the colors a bit better. Um, really like vibrant 90s piece, this one. I really like the sweatshirt. Um, and yeah, this is on the back. So yeah, really nice sweatshirt, this one. Again, just because of the colors and the kind of 90s theme, um, probably one of my favorites. But I don't wear this one as much because uh, I don't want to have to wash it too much because it might just shrink. But that is the next Adidas sweatshirt. And on to the next one. All right. And this is the next one. I admit this is not a vintage sweatshirt, but I thought I'll just include it anyway because I feel it has potential to be a future classic because it kind of flows along the same kind of ideas of the Adidas equipment with the tag and then the main bit in the middle. So yeah, so this is a, an Adidas Adventure sweatshirt. This is purple. It does not come very well on camera, but obviously I really like purple. So you've got the modern tags. On the side, yeah, you've got the Adidas equipment kind of sleeve logo, which you do see with the, sorry, Adidas Adventure, which you do see with the equipment. And it feels like it shares those kind of vibes. I feel like this could be a future classic. Um, but yeah, I really like this one. Just nice, simple white sweatshirt with some nice details. Um, but yeah, really nice and uh, simple. Goes with pretty much anything. So yeah, let's move on to the next one. All right. Next up, we have this vintage 90s Reebok sweatshirt. Uh, this is part from the athletics department thing with the big block kind of rectangular logo on the front. I really like these. These are really nice. Uh, I was looking for one of these for a while. This is kind of like a really, really dark blue black color. Uh, really nice out center with the yellow and white. Um, really like the sleeve details. And you can see there's a label. This is a proper vintage classic, not a redo. But yeah, I've always really liked this kind of big rectangular logo on the Reebok um, vintage sweatshirt. So I've been looking for one of those for a while. <laughs> and I've actually had this one for a while, actually. Um, and yeah, it's another really nice timeless piece. Again, a lot of people seem to like this one in particular. Um, I guess because it's just a really nice clean design. And, um, you know, Reebok's very popular at the moment. So, yeah, that's another Reebok. Well, not another one. That's the first one we actually had. The first and only one, actually. But I would like to have another classic Reebok in there somewhere. Yeah, with that, let's move on to the final one of today. Alrighty, and the final one today. Again, it's not really a vintage but this is the only switch i had left so i thought i might as well just include it in the video <laughs> and this is kind of just the one that i use if i'm i don't know doing work outside it's dirty or something this is kind of the kind of switch i just use if i don't mind getting trashed and you see it's a bit ripped um but yeah it's really nice really warm let me just zoom in on that so my finger gets in the way there we are as the feeler kind of um branding tape whatever you call it that's all down the arm and to the shoulders it's got some nice red detailing there. There's the label. But yeah, this, this one isn't a vintage, I bought this a few years ago, but this is kind of just my one that I use, again, just for kind of just trashing about in, because uh, I don't really want to get the other ones ruined. But yeah, um, and that is the final one of the collection. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and let's get back to future me. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Um, and I'll be doing hopefully a vintage jacket video soon. I've got quite a few, quite a few of those lined up. Um, and I've also got a uh, haul video coming as well soon because I've got some pretty good picks, pick, pick up recently. Pretty good pickups. Uh, some are up there with some of the best of the year. So it's pretty exciting. So I'll make sure to um, sort it out soon as well. But yeah, I hope, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys then in a bit.